Ah, what a wonderful morning. Hi, Lydia. Did you watch us sleep all night, or did you go to sleep? Oh, well, I guess we can discuss that over breakfast. I just want to eat breakfast. All right, let's, uh... I guess we can't zoom out. <laughs> all right, we'll just stare at Lydia while we eat. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yes, honored to see you, too. <clears throat> How was your day? You want to share some wine? Okay. Well, it's good for me. And I got a bunch of this seared slaughter fish to eat, so I gotta start eating it now. Might get a little boring to eat, but we'll have some tomatoes and an apple, too. Okay, so we're good. Alright, I'll see you later, Lydia. Watch for Lucia for us. Okay, well, whatever you want to do, Lucia. Where'd you go, Lucia? Are you just like. Are you up here? Are you hiding up here, Lucia? Oh, okay, good. Alright. Well, we're off, Lucia. See you guys and Lydia later. Lydia, make sure you watch after Lucia, you know. It's your job. And, uh. So, yeah, we're gonna go. Ryan Elm was interested in checking out the Companions Guild and seeing if they've come up with any more work for him to do while he was helping the Blue Palace in Solitude. They probably have. So, I'm sure that there's something cool to do. So, Ryan Elm was kind of wondering what he, like, you know, last time we kind of did a bunch of boring shopping stuff, but uh, we're probably going to have to do a little bit of more shopping now because we do need to go and sell those uh, dragon bones that we made our horse carry. So, let's go ahead and do that first, just to get it out of the way, and then we'll probably have time to get to maybe uh, an actual thing today. I wonder if these guys will ever leave, or if they're just going to stay here forever, just hanging out. You're never going to find, like, I mean, if they just looked, they would find her, but I don't understand. You know, I mean, I guess it's okay, because they would never find her They're, if they just stand there forever. So it's okay, but I just, you know, feel like they're stupid. It's, like, annoying, you know? You know, you know, you know. So the agents of the High Elven are already, uh, oh. They maintain an embassy in Skyrim. I wonder which, uh castle or was that maybe maybe it's probably by itself somewhere anyways um yes thank you for watching the horse again no, i'm just gonna be here for a second uh we're just gonna grab our dragon scales and the shield of solitude oh yeah we need to put that in our house and the steel ingot thanks uh thanks horsey we're uh we'll be right back hopefully on a quest or something don't know what though companions always probably have something cooked up for us like we said earlier as we have to look at this stupid same alchemist thing for like, I think this is like the third time I had to see this. Maybe maybe it was during the loading screen when I first loaded up the game. So maybe this is the second, the first time for you guys, luckily. Yep, that's an alchemist table. That's This is one thing I disliked about Skyrim when I played solo myself is that this these loading screens, but but they go, it's okay. I mean, once you're in a dungeon and they're, they're fast, if it's loading just a small area. Yeah, now we know why my why Lucia hates you, <laughs> cause you're a bitch. Well met, yep, well met. Let's see. Hopefully, he has enough money. <laughs> oh, cool! I got a couple more trinkets. I know you'll like. How about some dragon bones? He's like. God damn it, I had to buy all this shit. <laughs> that was all my money. Alright, well, I guess we'll just hang on to these rubies. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we will. <laughs> but we did rid ourselves of those extremely heavy dragon parts. Thank God. And uh, so, yeah, now we're free to go ahead and. Well, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's run up into the Yorvaskar. Alright, yeah, like I, we really are hoping that they came up with some work for us to do while we were gone. Uh, don't know really who we're talking to. Maybe maybe we should just go through the back door and see if we can see anybody outside. I don't know. But um, I'm sure we'll find somebody in here. Looks like they're all eating, so perfect timing. Skior? You still need to prove yourself, Okay. Uh, 
Who was I supposed to look for? Oh, okay, cool. So yeah. All right, secure. I'm looking for work, dude. Sounds good. A wealthy family has misplaced one of their heirlooms. Okay. Some don't even believe they exist, but the Falmer can be devious, tunneling into homes, stealing off with valuables. Okay. I'll get it back. Trusting you on this one. Bring honor to the companions. All right. Thank you. So I'm assuming that you marked it on my map for me. Retrieve the iron battle axe from Lost Echo Cave. Okay. Well, thank you for showing me on the map, most likely. And we will find out where that is. Uh, yes, so we're going to be heading... Work. Holy crap, where the hell is this thing? There we go. So... Where... <laughs> Dude, you're supposed to mark it on my map. Oh my god, all the way over there? Man, well luckily there's a caravan, so... <sighs> I guess we gotta get comfortable riding that thing. Alright, well back to solitude. Uh, we already had breakfast, so we'll just have to eat when we get there, and we'll just tie our horse to the back again, and... Wow, man, it's a long journey. Alright, so uh, since we're going to go outside, let's go ahead and put on our helmet of awesome badassness. That is going to look so good when we get a full set of this armor and we have this awesome yellow cape on. I think we're going to look really paladin -y and badass. Even though it's dwarven armor. I mean, the sword alone is, like, amazing. I wish I could marry that sword. It's so beautiful. Our sword is so beautiful, if you don't know. If you missed that episode, it's adorable. It was amazing. I th I'm sorry, I said adorable because I was thinking I was looking at this kid. He's not adorable though. He's bald. I don't know what his deal is. It's not like there's cancer treatment or something that he could be bald from. I guess he just chooses to be bald. What a weirdo. I'm not going to adopt him. Alright. So it's right on down to the caravan master. Thank you, Mr. Guard, for being kind enough to watch my sword. I mean, Harris. Harris. Got sword on the brain. Or almost. The caravan should is usually at the bottom of this hill, so. Yep. Perfect. So we'll tie our horse up, ride to solitude, I guess, and do that for them. Super happy we did all our business. We could have just done it at the same time, because I'm pretty sure it's like right next to all those other caves that we were at. So it's too bad they didn't think of this earlier. I would love to take your carriage to uh, solitude, please. We'll Alright, sounds good. That's true, it's so nice outside. Oh, we totally didn't put our solitude shield in our breeze home. Oh well. We can do that later. We'll just put it back in the horse. I'm sure the horse will appreciate having a big ass shield, you know, to protect it. <sighs> but man, this could not have been Less convenient. Why couldn't it have been like as soon as we were going into the town? It's like a stupid alchemist table. Why didn't it show me this? Then I would have remembered. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so it's night time. What time is it? Well, since we were able to nap in the heart on the cart, we'll just uh, get our horse, who is nowhere. Um. What did we just put? Frick. I always forget what the key is. And sorry, guys. I know it's like breaking the immersion or whatever. But, but I always forget. Okay, it's a five. Horse. Horsey. Should be here eventually. Um, It's frigid and deadly out. That's my only concern with this going out at night. But um, for horse... Oh, we're losing like one exposure per minute. Second. Where's our horse? Come on. I know you're out there. Oh well. I guess uh, we tied it to the back. He must have got loose. Oh well. Let's just go in. We'll go rent a room really f very, very quickly. Rent a room. And then we'll be on our way. 
Maybe our horse will figure out where the hell he's coming or not. Right, so we don't need our hat anymore if we're just going to go in town. Even though it's badass, we're going to take it off and we're going to go in town and be polite. We should start going to the. We should go to the armor too in the morning. Just really. Oh my gosh! Shut the fuck up, phone. I hate you. There we go. Sorry. Anyways, so we are actually going to go into the uh, or over to the blacksmith guy, so we can see if he has any dwarven one armor. Because you know, I'm inter I'm very excited, intrigued. Anxious? Anxious, that's the word, to complete my Dwarven Armor set. So, if he can do that for us, that'd be great. So we're going to move over there. We're going to go over there in the morning when he's awake. Well, I'm glad that you are so optimistic about being old. That's awesome. Anyways, we're going to go and uh, enjoy the fanfare or whatever in the tavern here and go and have a nice dinner. Because we were kind of probably thirsty and stuff. And then we're going to go to bed and wake up and have breakfast. And then we'll go to, yeah, so, you know, the whole plan. If you're looking for a Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. I'd like to rent a room. All right, cool. All right, well, if you want to go, that's, you don't have to show me to it. But if you want to go get it ready, that's fine. I'll just take a seat over here and have some listen while we eat something. Let's see, what are we going to have? Let's have some cabbage. It's fine to have a bunch of wine or whatever now. Uh, some seared slaughter flesh, of course, since we bought all of it. And how about a spiced wine? Alright. So we'll be serenaded while we uh, <laughs> sleep or eat. Oh, come on. You could have so easily rhymed that with farts. Why would you not? <laughs> how could you pass that up? Clap, 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 clap. That was great. Good song. All right, and so we just finished our food, so we're, we're going to go up to our room now. Thanks for getting it ready, dude. Soon we won't need to do this anymore in this town because we'll have our own house. But uh, for now, we have to deal with this. So we're going to sleep till... We need to wait till the town, the stuff is open. So we'll sleep for 10 hours, I think, is going to be putting us at like 8 o'clock. Yeah, probably should. Ten hours, I think, is going to be good. Um, and besides, we need to be well rested anyways, because there's probably going to be some fighting along the way if it's Falmer, which we know to be evil due to the context of how the guy said it, but we've never actually seen Falmer before, so maybe they're cuddly. <laughs> but Rhinelm doubts it. So we're going to sit up here, be antisocial again for our breakfast. Uh, we probably shouldn't drink any... Well, I guess we have to drink wine because we don't really have any water right now, but uh, maybe while we're out we can fill up the water bottles. So let's have some cabbages, we'll have some wine, and a so seared solder fish, and one tomato. And maybe one wine. Spiced wine. So our thirst is quenched, we're full, we're rested, we are ready to go. So we'll just sit here, take a little last sip, and let's get out of here. Alright, so we're ready to go. Um, wonderful singing last night. Thank you for serenading me. Thanks for the room. And we're off. After we go to the blacksmith, and then we'll be good. Definitely going. Okay. Ooh, it's a foggy day outside. What is it? The air is cool. Well, that's good. It's not frigid or freezing, so we're not going to die in the town, I'd hope. We're getting more used to it, I've been noticing. We have, we're a little bit more resistant to the cold. What have you got for sale, my friend? You got any, uh... Dwarven... Ooh, you got Dwarven Boots. Alright, we might get that from you. It's gonna give us some more armor, so we might as well. Here, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna put those boots on really fast. Just try them on. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's put those on. And, uh... Cool. 
That's good that your force never rests. But uh, here, I, I want to sell you my... You can have these steel cuffed boots. How about that? All right, thank you. All right. Yep, I'm wearing it. <laughs> Thank you. So now we got some big old clunky boots, but uh, they don't really match right now. I mean, it's everything's yellow, so it's kind of matching. But um, once we have the full set, it'll be pretty awesome looking, I think. And uh, since we're about to go outside, let's go ahead and put on our hat. Get some standard exposure protection, at least from it, also. And uh, yeah, let's get going. We know our heading is the same as uh, last time. Which is really kind of a little bit annoying that they didn't think of that earlier, but you know we're gonna we're gonna get it. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna go do their job for them. <sighs> well, not you know do their job for them, but do the job they asked us to do. Not trying to be like uh, they're making us do stuff, man. Just pointing it out. <laughs> 